Okay, welcome again, fellow mates. This is Coach RJ. Today I have a practical exercise to share, especially those who are new or willing to step up for your next career advancement as Chief Officer. This is a good opportunity for you to have a basic foundations when it comes to loading sequence with the use of or the help and assistance of Loadicator. Our status is loading with the load rate of 1000 metric tons per hour with one loader. This is the conditions, arrival conditions, and the details that you're going to put in the forms or company form, loading or discharging form or load sequences are just basic details. And the details you can find, for example, this is the arrival conditions of your uh, load port in balance conditions and this is the draft forward okay draft middle and half and the trim and the stress factor and the bending moment and that includes the air draft okay now these are the details only that you are going to write or put in the loading or discharging sequence form. Okay, now I'll help you uh, go through the loading sequence. Let's say proceed to cargo hold. Now we have 43 storage factor cubic feet per metric tons. And then we have one loader 1000 per hour. Now we our first cargo hold to load is cargo hold number three, okay? So you can write here the weight in figure or you can do it by percentage. You will, normally we do it by weight in uh, metric tons. Okay, let's say for the first half, you load um, around 6,000, okay? 6,000 is about at least 52%. Now, by the time you load 6,000, you proceed to the ballast cargo hold number um, or ballast number three, DBT and your top side, okay? So here, top side and DBT is straight. You just leave uh, around unpumpable ballast about say 20 tons or 20 cubic meter. Okay. So see the result here. Okay. Uh, first loading stage, cargo hold number three, 6,000. Okay and then remove the ballast up to unpumpable because uh, you have to use the stripping after uh, you run the first half of the cargo. Then remember filaments again, write the details forward, mid, half, the trim, the changes of the bending moment and the storage factor and the air draft for the next cargo hold to be loaded. Now, if your target is to load cargo hold number five, then you have to look over the air draft of cargo hold number five, which is you have to write in the um, loading sequence form. Okay, let's go back to the ship status. Now, our next loading sequence cargo hold is number five 
Now let's proceed to cargo hold number five. Same a weight of cargo loaded. Okay, six thousand in six hours. You complete the six thousand. Okay. Same time you have to discharge cargo hold or WBT at top side um, number five with twenty cubic meter and twenty cubic meter okay now this is the status once again you have to look over the details here middle and eight in your trim so you have trim by stern negative two and there's a changes a little bit on your bending moment and your stress factor and look over again on the next cargo hold to load Okay, now our target to load is cargo hold number two. So if you look, okay, cargo hold or hatch cover top 16.38. All right, now let's proceed to cargo hold number two. Or let's say you go proceed to cargo hold number one. Okay, let's say cargo hold number one. Uh, say six thousand. Okay, now you have negative. Okay, trim. Of course, you're not done yet. Don't be panic. Proceed to your ballast and then remove the ballast number one with remaining cubic meter 20 20 okay see the trim that is your trim now with 0.6 okay by the head but you can also discharge your perfect at the same time okay with say two times remain for example so that's it, you have trimmed by the stern about 64 centimeter. Okay, that's also a good conditions. You are already loaded 6,000 cargo number one, two, and three. Remove the ballast, four pick, and DBT number one. Now, in this case, again, in the third stage of loading, you write the details that you need in the loading sequence form. Okay, 7.12, 7.46, 7.76 in the trim, and the bending moment, and the stress factor. Okay, and the next airdrop will be our target is cargo hold number 7. Okay, so number 7 is 15.26. Now let's proceed to cargo hold number 7. We load again 6,000 here. All right. You have trim, negative four trim. But don't be panic. We need to proceed again to ballast and remove cargo hold. Oh no, the DBT number seven. Remaining cubic meter. All right, then the trim is about three, okay, three meters. See, half 6.4 and half 9.6. Uh, if you want more to discharge uh, the ballast, okay, so you have no after pick, but this is okay. So that's it, filament. You have already cargo. 6,000, that's it. Okay, now let's proceed to a uh, next uh, sequence. Let's say cargo hold number. Hmm. Proceed to cargo hold number. Four, okay. So you go to the cargo hold number four. Another 6,000, okay. And then ballast. Cargo hold number four. All right, remove this. 
twenty ball twenty stripping then you have okay still three meter stream you write down your um details forward made enough trim and uh, bending movements getting lesser and then of course the stress factor and of course again this um the air draft now our next will be cargo hold number say proceed to cargo hold number two okay cargo hold number two another six thousand okay then remove ballast number two all right another 20 cubic meter 20 cubic meter all right then you have one one six okay and then let's proceed to cargo hold number six first round of cargo and you complete also remove or debalance your ballast and you have to proceed to your stripping stage now you have six thousand six thousand all your cargo and remove already your ballast this is the a good a trim for a stripping negative or trim by a stern three meters trim by a stern and you can strip as much as possible your ballast okay so in that um way fellow mates you can practice your loadicator preparing loading sequence and i just showing you how the vessels behave and what are the details that you are going to get from the loadicators in order to complete the loading sequence form remember forward middle aft trim bending moment storage fact stress factor and the um air draft that's all filaments so i hope that you gain uh, at least a very quick um knowledge regarding loading sequence and uh, just enjoy learning my filaments just give me a message if you need more assistance. This is Coach RG once again. Bye.